Could you pass the milk or has it gone sour in this atmosphere? Glad you found us amusing, Chris. Do you see me laughing? I don't like this situation any more than you do. I could hardly ask her to leave, considering the state she was in. And you expect me to be sympathetic, do you? She is a dingle. We both know what that means. What choice did I have? You had the choice not to bring her here in the first place. I refuse to live in the same house as a prostitute. I just need some time to sort it out, that's all. And what about Joseph? Have you stopped to think about his safety while she's staying here? Of course I have! Do you want a glass of milk? No. I don't blame you. Here, have some juice. If you had thought about your family in the first place, you wouldn't be in this situation. But as usual, you were only thinking of yourself. Morning. What can we, uh, we get you for breakfast? We? I hope you don't think I'm going to jump Just up. Just coffee will be fine. I couldn't face breakfast this morning, thanks. This is my son, Joseph. But Joseph, this is a friend of mine, Charity. She's staying with us at the moment. Just like Frankie did? No, not like Frankie. Never mind, Auntie Zoe. She's in a bad mood this morning. Are you sure we can't get you something to eat? No, I'll be all right. I doubt I'll be able to chew with my mouth. Are you all right? I'll live. I hope. Breakfast fit for a king, is this, Lisa? Thanks. Mm, certainly king, sir. Emily, love, aren't you going to come and join us for your breakfast? I'm not right hungry this morning, Lisa. No? Not feeling sick around? No? Well, come and just sit down and have a nice cup of tea. It's, it's all right. I don't want to sit down. I'm, I'm fine. I wonder where our Ken and Charity are. You seen him, Emily? Take that as a no, then. I'm, I'm just a bit tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, that's all. It's funny, but, you know, I think I only get a good night's sleep when I'm being woken up by Ken and Charity coming in at all hours, banging about, making a racket. Then I know that at least they're out of trouble. Except last night they didn't come home, did they? Well, they better not be up to eight. They'll have me to reckon with. I saw them both yesterday. They were arguing. <laughs> well, that's not new. They're always arguing. <laughs> not like this. What do you mean? I think it's best if you ask them, Lisa. Come on, then. Out with it. Where have you been? I went to see Chris Taylor, didn't I? You did what? I went to get our charity. Don't you try and get clever with me, lad. Well, what's she doing up there? Bed and breakfast? Our sweet little charity takes money off sad blokes who can't get a woman without paying for it. He's lying. This better not be a sick joke. Oh, it's sick, all right. But it's no flaming joke. Well, why do you think I went up there? I was going to sort him out, wasn't I? Where do you think our charity gets the money from for all the flash clothes and stuff? She's been on the game the whole time she's been living under your roof. She's not with Chris Turk. Tell me she's not. She is. And I reckon she's been seeing him for quite some time. I don't believe it. I can't. Don't believe it. Well, come with me if you don't believe me. Not charity. Surely to God she wouldn't... She wouldn't do this to her own family, to me! She don't care. She's a selfish cow. Taking money off Chris Tate? No! Sleeping with him, Zaka, could she? Because she's a money-grabbing little... You went up there to sort him out, did you? Of course I did. I was defending the family honour. Honour? Honour, you don't know the meaning of the word. Eh? Well, they had to do something fast. You should have left it alone and come straight to me. You should have told me! So what now, eh? Just gonna sit there, are you? Oh, we're gonna go up there and sort him out. Zach, Zach, please don't know how stupid. What are you saying, woman? I'm a stupid man, eh? Well, I must be. Cos I swear to God I never saw this one coming. Well, like I said, I can sort you out with some money to be going on with. And I have plenty of contacts. Just let me know where you want to go and I can help with the arrangements. Just let me know what you want. You make it sound so simple. Mess up, move on. You don't know what it's like being a dingle. It don't matter where you're on to, you know. You can't hide. Look, I don't know what I want or where I want to go. I, 
can't think straight. It's your decision. Yeah, I know. Look, can I just stay another night till I get my head in gear and I've decided what I'm going to do? Of course you can. But well, it's not really an ideal situation for any of us, you know. It, it's not a relationship. I know what it is, Chris. All I'm saying is not what I wanted for us. <laughs> Only think it's what I want. Sat opposite Miss Snooty draws at breakfast, making me out like I'm dirt or something. <sighs> she doesn't mean What? She don't mean it. Of course she means it. To the likes of her, I'm dirt. <sighs> what? Only just realising what you're getting yourself involved with. Don't matter what you look like, you know, or whether you stand on street corners or not. Folks still only think one thing. <sighs> Look at me studying peeling flaming spuds! I don't even know what I'm doing. Zach, I'm asking you a question. What are you going to do about charity? And have you forgotten Kane came home in a police car? Oh, don't be stupid, woman. How could I forget? But you are going to do something about it. About Kane, I mean. You know, he won't take any notice. You know, you know he does everything that he wants to do. What do you want me to do? Throw him out, knock him about a bit? Can't you see I'm just sitting here trying to work all this out? But it's now you've got to do something about it. You can't just wait till the police come hammering at the door. I don't understand why you're being so soft with him. I'm not being soft with him. But you're not doing what you know you should. No, I should. It seems to me Kane has been getting away with doing whatever he wants for years. I know his family, Zach, but... Well, sometimes he... He scares me. That lad is rotten through and through, Zach, and you know it. You know you do. You've done everything you can for him. But have I? Of course you have. What is wrong with you, Zach? This isn't like you. Where's all your fight gone? You should be standing up, facing up to him instead of sat there feeling sorry for yourself. Or is it true what Kane says? You're just too old and too scared to face up to things anymore. Lisa. Kane isn't my nephew. He's my son.